Live. Mixed emotions in the courtroom today as a jury decides to give Jan Michael Nieves Delgado no prison time. During closing statements of the punishment phase, both sides made an emotional plea to the jury. His defense attorney pleading for mercy, saying Nieves still has so much to offer the community. Good afternoon. I'm Rick Cabrera. Thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 5. Acela Casas is off today. ABC 7 has been bringing you complete coverage from the courtroom since the trial began. A jury yesterday found Nieves Delgado guilty of manslaughter for driving into a construction zone and killing two workers back in 2014. Emotions already heightened when the wrong verdict was read yesterday. He was originally facing two counts of intoxication manslaughter. Today he was sentenced to 10 years probation. The jury heard from Nieves' mother, Pastor, and even employers during closing arguments. Ellison Hernandez saying, quote, he has been there a lot for me. He has a natural ability to be a leader. Hernandez breaking down in tears saying, he is an amazing kid. ABC 7's Jerry Nockett has been in the courtroom following the latest. He is live with reaction from those who know Nieves. Despite having a Rick, the emotion in this courtroom during the sentencing was felt throughout the room. Nieves Delgado was convicted of simple manslaughter rather than intoxicated manslaughter, despite having a blood alcohol content nearly 50% above the legal limit. Both crimes carry the same potential, up to 20 years in prison on each count. As the jury walked into their courtroom with their final decision, Nieves held his head low. Nieves' mother also hanging her head clinging to a family member's arm. Family members of the victims listened closely and shed tears as they heard Nieves being given 10 years probation. We spoke with a friend of one of the victims who was there the night of the tragedy. There was just no way that any justice could be served tonight. Um, nothing that he could do is bring back my friends. And I just hope that he makes the best of what's left of his life. Nieves will also have to pay $20,000 in fines. We also spoke with victim James Green's youngest daughter, who tells us this sentence was a travesty. We're going to hear some emotional sound from her coming up at 6 o'clock. Okay. Back to you. Again, probation is the punishment or the sentence for Nieves. Thank you very much, Jerry. Live from the courthouse.